Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you what it looks like to look in a true mirror. So have you ever wondered what you look like to other people? For example, if you could walk up to yourself and meet yourself, what would it actually look like? Well, you could try to simulate this just by looking in a normal mirror, but that doesn't really simulate what you look like to other people because you're actually seeing the mirror image of yourself. So everything that's on the right side is on the left side and everything that's on the left side is on the right side. So what do you actually look like in real life? In order to see that, you would need a different kind of mirror. A mirror that doesn't flip the image. A true mirror. Well, if you've noticed while I'm talking, I'm actually looking in a mirror right now. But notice that the words on my shirt aren't flipped. You can see that I've written the Action Lab on this paper here, but look what happens when I flip it around. The Action Lab still. For example, here's the sign again, but you can look at it through the regular mirror and the true mirror at the same time. You can see in the regular mirror, it's the mirror image of the words, and in the true mirror, it's the actual words, how you would see them as if I was a different person holding up a sign to you. So this mirror is not flipping the image to be the mirror image. It's not acting like a mirror anymore. It's showing myself what I would look like in real life, in real time with real lighting around me. And it's weird. So for the first time in my life, I'm seeing myself like other people see me. Now this is one of the reasons a lot of people don't like what they look like in pictures. Because they're so used to seeing themselves as a mirror image that they don't like it when they see themselves not as a mirror image, as in a picture. So typically the only time we see ourselves in real time in real life is in the mirror. And so we become accustomed to believing that that's what we actually look like. When in reality, we're the mirror image of that. And so when we actually see ourselves in real time, in real life, not as a mirror image, it seems weird. The biggest thing that we'll notice is the asymmetries that we become accustomed to. For example, when I first looked into the true mirror, I didn't like what I saw. The first thing I noticed is that this ear sticks out a little bit more than the other and my nose is crooked. But why didn't I notice that before? Well, it's because I've become so used to just seeing what I look like in a regular mirror that I became accustomed to the asymmetries in my face. So how does the true mirror work? How is it that in a regular mirror, I'm seeing these words flipped, but in the true mirror, I'm not? Well, to understand this, we have to first understand how a regular mirror works. Why does a regular mirror flip the image in the first place? So let's try to understand how a normal mirror flips stuff. For example, let me hold up an arrow in front of this mirror. So, so far it doesn't seem like it's flipping anything. The arrow's pointing to the right, so is the mirror. The arrow's pointing up, so is the mirror. Points to the left, so is the mirror. Points down, so is the mirror. So this is weird. If the arrow's always pointing in the same direction in the mirror as it is in real life, then how is it flipping these words around? Well, the answer to that is that mirrors don't flip images, but they reflect light. So the mirror isn't actually flipping anything, it's just reflecting light that's bouncing off of it. For example, the green light that's coming off this T here is hitting the mirror and going back to the camera. But why does it look flipped still? Well, the reason is, is because the light that's being bounced off of it is already flipped. And what do I mean by that? Is because I'm holding it flipped. For example, if I remove the white from it and just show you the marker, notice that it's flipped. So the mirror didn't flip anything. All it did was reflect what I'm showing it, and this is the light that I'm showing it, it's already flipped. For example, if I turn the paper around and face the camera and then remove the back white paper, then you can see that it's not flipped in the mirror either because I'm just showing it what I'm seeing. So the reason that normal mirrors appear to flip something is not because they're actually flipping anything, but it is because when you show something to a mirror, you have to turn it away from you. So if I don't turn this paper around, I can't show you on the mirror what's on it, so I have to flip it and turn it towards the mirror. And now once I've flipped it, I've flipped the image. So the mirror didn't flip anything. You're the one that flipped it by showing it to the mirror. And as the physics girl mentions in one of her videos about this subject, that's why mirrors flip only horizontally and not vertically. For example, let's say I wanted to show the mirror this paper, but instead of flipping it like this, I just flip it like this. Then I'm showing it to the mirror, but I've flipped it upside down now. So now it would seem like the mirror actually flipped these words, when of course it was just us that flipped these words. 
Now, even though the mirror isn't the thing doing the flipping, you're the thing doing the flipping to show it to the mirror, the result is still the same. Something that you see in a mirror looks like a mirror image and it doesn't look like it would look like if you were looking at it in real life. And so what that means is that in order to get something to look like it would look like in real life, you need something that does flip the image. So you need a mirror that flips actually. So for example, notice how in the true mirror, when I have an arrow pointing to the left, in the mirror it shows it pointing to the right. And the reason for that is because it's supposed to look like you're looking at someone showing you an arrow. For example, let me stand up and walk around, keep holding this arrow out in front of me, and you'll notice that now it looks like it's pointed that same direction as before. So we see that in order for the true mirror to work correctly, it has to reflect the opposite of what I'm doing in real life so that it looks as if another person's doing it instead of me. So let me show you how it actually does that. So you can see when I shine a laser what's actually happening with the true mirror. You can see that it's reflecting off of it, shining the beam so that it comes out the other side. So whatever I do with the laser here, you can see it moves the beam on the opposite side. So the result of this is it looks like there's actually two people shining this laser beam. You can see that me right here is shining the laser beam on the back at the garage and then the person in the mirror is shining it behind me here. So the way that the true mirror works is just through two mirrors that are at right angles to each other. So it reflects off one and then reflects off of the other. So it has a double reflection and because of the double reflection, it reverses the initial flip that the first mirror caused. But the clever thing about the true mirror is how they get this right angle so perfect that you can't even see it. And you can adjust it here. So that you don't see the line whatsoever. And the result of this is a true mirror to show you what you look like to other people, whether you like it or not. Now thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.